Hey guys, this is LeGrandzilla, and I have a uh, new diorama I finished that has uh, two uh, model kits. The one is the uh, Mighty Joe Young by Izumi Takabe, and the other is by Joe Ladati, the Guanji, both from stop action movies done long ago. I thought they'd be a good pair to put together kind of like Kong and um, and uh, T-Rex and also a little bit like Godzilla versus King Kong in that he's about to do the thing with the uh, tree down the lizard's throat so this is a diorama I made sort of uh, to be in the jungle and I made it kind of like Skull Island where you have the creepy crawlies and things. I made a uh, area with water. I used some uh, Reaper miniatures uh, monsters to put in the water. It's just something of interest. And I have uh, Mighty Joe Young having the high ground. And he's about to use this tree branch on Guanji. I thought they fit good together because they're uh, both stop action movie figures. So I'll just show you, uh, turn it so you can see the different angles. One disadvantage of this diorama is it doesn't have a real clear good angle to display from. Um, you don't get a real good view of both the faces of uh, a Mighty Joe Young and Guanji at the same time. On the coloration I went with a darker uh, Mighty Joe Young and uh, but I went a little bit more colorful with Guanji instead of the bluish gray kind of flat tones that the movie showed I wanted to put a little more color in him so I did greenish gray on his back area I do actually have some uh, stripes and things in him but they're subtle I did gray toenails and uh, I did his underside kind of a flesh color because I just thought it looked good But on this uh, Mighty Joe Young kit, I really like the uh, expression. I was originally thinking I'd make it be that he's King Kong, but he just doesn't look like King Kong. And so I'm going to let him be Mighty Joe Young. So anyway, that's my diorama. I hope you liked it. And stay tuned for more. Oh, can't forget there's a spider there. Lots of driftwood. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs>